In this video, I'm going to cover why I think the Xbox platform, not necessarily the Series X, is the best, is my favorite streaming box option. I mean, it all boils down to this: this the the Xbox has like a trick up its sleeve, and it's it's in the form of the uh, Adobe Access app. Adobe Access app basically takes any signal, be it Adobe Digital, Adobe Digital Plus, uh, anything, and uh, and upconverts it up to Adobe native Adobe Atmos. So when you're actually looking at the information on your receiver, it's to the receivers, the receiver just sh thinks that it's Adobe Atmos signal. It does a really good job at converting um, pretty much any source into a very, very believable. It almost makes me think that it's a native Atmos track. If you're if you're concerned about having Dolby Atmos and having like maximum use of your like overhead speakers, I would only recommend it basically if you're using your Xbox only for like streaming stuff on like uh, Netflix. Uh, pretty much any kind of streaming platform. They're, they all use like Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus. Uh, so a lot of them use, uh, a lot of them do include Adobe, uh, Adobe Atmos track within, embedded within the Dolby Digital uh, Plus soundtrack. You never know what movie is gonna have it, what show is gonna have Dolby Atmos this, and this kind of like using the Xbox the way I'm gonna show you kind of, kind of blanket takes everything that you're gonna throw at it and turns it into Atmos. And it does a really good job. So later in the video, I'll go into a little more detail on how to use, uh, how, how to set it up on your Xbox to make sure it's working right. Uh, there's a little trick that you have to do. You actually have to turn off pass-through. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna review the Series S, uh, even though th this is the one I'm going to recommend in the video um, for many reasons. One being it's, it's the cheapest uh, Xbox you can buy right now is $300. You can't even buy an X, a used Xbox One X for cheaper than this one right now. You know, it does, it's a, like a do-it-all machine. Um, not only can you watch all your streaming content on it, you can also play really awesome new games on it. If you're in the market for like an Apple TV, which is close, you know, is approaching this amount, you know, it's around $200 range, or an Nvidia Shield, which are, those are like the two top uh, uh, streaming devices that out there right now on the market. You know, this is more like an Apple TV or Nvidia Shield competitor. Yes, it's more expensive, but yeah, you're getting uh, like a fully fledged gaming machine with it. If you are interested in gaming, if you do play some games occasionally, you can get yourself a Game Pass uh, subscription and, you know, it really does give a really good experience. So yeah, obviously, you know, this is lacking a Blu-ray player, which the Series X has and even the Xbox One S has, which I have uh, actually have upstairs now. And limiting the disk drive allows it to be this small. So this is why I feel like it could, I could compare this to an Nvidia Shield. Obviously, this is way bigger than an Apple TV. I have. I have a couple of them myself, and yeah, this is way bigger, but you can't play the kind of games that this game plays on Apple TV. So I just want to pick it up and kind of pick it up and like twirl it around and kind of give you a sense of the scale. You know, this is so small. Um, I'm sure a lot, there are a lot of videos out there about this machine out there, but uh, I'm kind of like basing this video more on like the, 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 the streaming proudness that this, it, it's a, it does a really good job as a streamer. I think it's up there with the whole, with the, I would put it up there with the Nvidia Shield. Maybe the Nvidia Shield is, you know, I'd maybe give it the edge because it is probably the gold standard for like Plex, uh, Plex streaming. But this does a pretty good job. It'll, it'll, uh, you can stream Dolby Atmos, uh, True HD, and it'll pass it through just fine. It also do HDR as well. And handle as Dolby Vision as well. I kind of put my money in the Xbox ecosystem this for this generation. The fact that Microsoft is buying all these uh, gaming companies like Activision, and they recently bought Bethesda, which you know has made made a huge splash in the gaming industry. And uh, all they had to do was buy Bethesda because Bethesda literally makes my favorite games, like Elder Scrolls and Fallout, are by far my favorite games ever made. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure uh, this to work so you can get your constant Atmos. So you're going to go to the settings in the uh, Xbox. You can do that by navigating to the your little name there. Go into settings. So in the settings app, you're going to go to volume and audio output. And you're going to want to make sure that you have your Dolby Atmos for home theater set up. When you first try to set this up, when you first get your Xbox, you're going to get prompted to install this uh, this Dolby application. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. You're going to be prompted to install the Dolby Access app. The, you don't have to configure anything or do anything. This allows you to have uh, Dolby Atmos for your games and, and also for movies. So let's go back to settings. 
you're gonna to wanna to go to uh, volume and audio output. Again, double check Dolby Atmos for home theater, install the app when it asks you to do so. And then you're gonna to go to additional options and you're gonna you're gonna think you would think that you would allow pass through, but you're gonna you're gonna uncheck allow pass through. What this does is it allow it uh it makes the Xbox it basically takes anything any output that the Xbox is producing and produ and, and turns it into like native Atmos. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is Nightmare Alley. It's playing Dolby Digital, Dolby, Dolby Audio, Dolby Digital Plus 5.1. And it's being converted to Dolby Audio surround 7.1.4. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the, the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off pass through. All right, it was just, I'm gonna turn off pass through here, turning off pass through. Now going back to Nightmare Alley, I'm gonna hit play. And we got Dolby Atmos there. I'm gonna load up my Plex library and I'm gonna show you. So I have Dune in 4K, uh, this 15 megabit per second 1080p, which also has True HD, already, this has True HD or Atmos. And I'm, this one has Dolby Digital. So I'm gonna select the, the lowest quality one. I'm gonna pause it there. Let's go, I'm gonna show you the information. Here you can see that the resolution is 10, 1920 by 1080, but more, most importantly, it says AC3, which is Dolby Digital, at 640 kilobits per second, 5.1 channels. If you look at the, uh, the receiver, the Xbox is converting the Dolby Digital signal into Dolby Atmos. What this upscaler does in the Xbox is something I would, I would compare to like magic. And it's basically like audio alchemy, it turns a pretty, you know, norm, a, a solid like 5.1 mix into something that sounds like oh, like native Atmos. So I'm going to show you the the difference. I'm going to turn the pass through. I'm going to turn pass through on again. Allow pass through. Pass audio to receiver. This is going to turn off the Dolby app, the Adobe Access app uh, up mixer, which I think is incredible. It's going to turn it off, but it'll allow me to play Dune uh, in True HD in Plex. That's another that's another strength of this of the Xbox platform. It works really well with Plex playing all uh, playing all native uh, soundtracks. So I'm gonna hit play version 42 megabits per second 4K. And I will pause it there and I will turn on playback information and go back here and you'll see that it's direct play, uh, HEVC 4K. And we got true HD 3.2, 7.1 channels. But if I hit the receiver information, as you can see, Dolby Atmos true HD. I do want to point out one more thing here. Not only does it allow you to do true HD Dolby Atmos, it allows you to do uh, native 24 Hertz. So it sw actually switches the Xbox to the actual frame rate of the video, which is way better than it gets a way better experience because you're seeing the film in the native frame rate that it should be seen. It's spraying very smoothly. It has zero out of zero, zero percent drop frames. Again, uh, I, was, I would put this uh, Xbox platform close to uh, the, the NVIDIA Shield, the quality of, play, of Plex playback. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the uh, Xbox Series S, any questions about how to get uh, Dolby Atmos working like I explained in this video. If you have any questions about that, please leave them in the comments. It would really help the channel a lot if you can like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.